Welcome to the 21st and final stage of La Vuelta 2019. In keeping with tradition, today's outing is essentially a procession into Madrid where the winners will be celebrated. 106 kilometers with nine laps of the finishing circuit before one final sprint. As expected, a gentle tempo at the start of the day, a rarity on this Vuelta. As the wearers of the distinctive jerseys struck a pose, the overall winner Primoz Roglic then flanked by his Jumbo Visma teammates. The riders entered Madrid itself with 50k to go. The pace starting to increase after the peloton crossed the finish line for the first time. The attacks coming thick and fast on the 5.8 km loop around the city centre and eventually two men got away. Diego Rubio from Burgos and Education First Colombian climber Danny Martinez. Jonathan Lastra tried to bridge across but the Caia Rural man didn't quite make it. Rubio and Martinez with 20 odd seconds on the peloton as Lastra was caught with 34k to go. Two teams working hard on the front of the peloton, the Koenig quick step for Fabio Jakobsen and UAE team Emirates for Fernando Gaviria looking to join the exclusive club of riders to have won a stage at all three Grand Tours. Rubio and Martinez continuing to plug away even if the writing was on the wall. The charging peloton finally swallowing up the pair with 7k remaining. The sprint seems jostling for position on the final straight. The Koenig quick step chasing a fifth win with Jakobsen but Bennett was right there on his wheel. Trek Segafredo also in the mix with John Dagenkolb, a two-time winner in Madrid, leading out Edward Turns. Jakobsen finds some clean road. Bennett is boxed in. It's Jakobsen, the Dutchman, versus the Irish champion. Is it Bennett? It's Jakobsen. So a second victory for Jakobsen in his first Grand Tour and number 62 this season for the Koenig Quickstep. That's a fourth second place at this welter for the Irish champion Bennett. Yeah, it was hard for everyone and I'm just happy that I can win here in Madrid because for me it's, this is the biggest moment of my career. Especially in the Dutch champion jersey, uh, I have almost no words. So Primoz Roglic becomes the first rider from Slovenia to win one of cycling's Grand Tours. After some teething problems at the start of the race, including a crash on the opening team time trial, the Jumbo Visma leader went from strength to strength. He took the red jersey on the individual time trial and never looked back. Having come fourth on the Tour de France and third on the Giro d'Italia, he has now struck Grand Tour gold. Roglic winning ahead of the evergreen Alejandro Valverde, second at La Vuelta at 39 years of age, 10 years after he won it. Roglic's compatriot Tadej Pogacar completing the podium with Miguel Angel Lopez, the race's most aggressive rider in fifth behind Nairo Quintana. Roglic completing the double as he also won the points classification ahead of Pogacar and Bennett. Geoffrey Bouchard was working in a bike shop two years ago and now he's the king of the mountains on a grand tour ahead of the impressive Angel Madrasso. 20-year-old Pogacar, the youngest rider in the race, taking the white jersey ahead of Lopez on a day of celebration for Slovenia. A country of just two million people and now they have a maiden Grand Tour winner after Roglic conquered La Vuelta.